time we're a sub-technical and steel guard. Today we're going to show you how to use a grease gun as a high injection pressure pump. These grease guns put out 3,000 PSI. So if you're going to do crack injection, a small job, this is a disposable unit. You can get this from Amazon. It's a Milwaukee. The part number is 24 four six dash two zero this comes without a battery and charger you can buy a cheap aftermarket battery and charger for about 30 bucks Milwaukee's is a lot more expensive this is a battery operated grease gun that we just used on a project so what you want to do is loosen up the cylinder pull back the plunger, unscrew the cylinder from the gun. This is a five gallon bucket and we put a hammer inside for counterweight. You drop your tube in there, that'll hold it in place. The first thing you want to do is use regular grease to grease around the threads. So that on a, when you tear it apart to put the next tube in, it'll come apart for you. Put a little bit of grease in the feed mouth side of where the tube goes. That way it will thread in easily and unthread easily. This is our single component, Hyperflex. It's moisture activated. It is NSF 61 for potable water. So you use a single caulking gun, pull the plunger back, load in the tube, remove the end off the single component tube, save the cap, and you fill up the grease gun. fill up about three quarters of the tube. You place the cap in the tube so there's no leakage. Take the tube, slide it up inside the gun, screw it in. Release the plunger. Now this is liquid, not grease, so you want to, while you're pumping, you want to hold it upside down and then just start pumping it. So it's primed and ready to go now. So you, you have your hole drilled with your 5 8 packer in, the female end on the grease gun, hooks to the male zerk on the male end, like so. Then as you inject this pressure, this packer stops it from coming back, the hole and must go out through the crack. So if it's a fine fracture, this grease gun can pump it into a fine fracture, so you can see it coming out of the packer. Overnight, you want to make sure that there's material in the gun. Leave it upside down overnight. Put a packer in it so the female zerk end is still good the next day. If you have to replace the end, we get them from Lincoln. These are a four jaw. They make a three jaw. They are not as good. The four jaw, the model number is five eight five two and you're ready to go for the next day of pumping uh, you can use this for several days and then it's probably going to mess up on you but for a cheap and high pressure injection jump the injection pump 
that will inject into very fine fractures with these 5H packers. Thank you.